Hey guys, it's Sheena. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my design team project for the Graphics Fairy. The theme for this month's um, collection is, of course, as you can tell, it's um, Alice in Wonderland. So um, instead of doing a full on junk journal this time around, I wanted to play with just creating an envelope set. So the backstory behind this is um, there's two sisters. So the elder sister actually created um, sort of this set here for her little sister who is in love with the fairy tale and why not. So I'll show you sort of a picture that I found as well that's, that will fit in well with the whole theme. It basically completes the whole theme. Alright, so let's get started. I'll just put this book aside here first. So the set is like so. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's about eight uh, envelopes in total. So it's tied up in a nice little bow, such as this one. And then we open her up. Let me just do that. So it comes with the little blue brooch as well. And then let me just untie this. Oops. Alright, let me just put that there first. Alright, so here we go. Set that aside. So the the collection, because it's you know Alice in Wonderland and whatnot, so I've attached a sort of a tea. Tea, tea time sort of a teaspoon here which is super pretty which I found online and it has sort of floral motifs there and it's in this beautiful bronze color and then of course we gotta have you know the the stop uh, what do you call that stopwatch that, that the rabbit has so I thought that was pretty cool and this one also has floral motifs on that so I just tied them together in this adorable little bow there so let me just put that there and so the first one the first envelope that we have just set this here is this little adorable um, the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland I've just decided to put a little red bow on it because I think it's it's actually wearing a red bow if I'm not mistaken anyway just to give a bit of a, a multi-dimensional effect to the envelope so this images here is from the graphics fairy premium membership the bundle is called Alice in Wonderland so you definitely you know be able to look for it so what I did was I just printed sort of nine of the images I think there are more than nine definitely in the bundle set so I just printed nine on the page and then I sort of tore around the edges of each of the image and then I sort of um, basically tore, tore it you know read messily and then I just made small dents here and there and I tried to you know curl the ends of the pages a little bit of the um, paper and then I just stuck it on here and then I've also did a bit of stitching here so I wanted it to give sort of a scrapbook-ish style to the envelope if that makes sense so yeah so it looks more vintage so this dress around the edges and you've got this little adorable sort of vintage looking envelope and we have this little um, bottle here I don't know if it'll focus properly it just says sorry um, it just says drink me <laughs> so that's super adorable and on the back is just uh, some embossing here and on the inside of this one we have um, some Alice in Wonderland themed playing cards so um, there's actually a whole bunch of these. It's one of the collage sheets in the bundle set as well. Um, I've just uh, put in a few here, but there's actually more which I will put in, you know, when I send this out. So it has sort of a playing card and then everyone has that sort of the image here. So this one with the blue hearts and then the black clubs in a uh, blue heart, sorry. The red hearts <laughs> and the black clubs, yep. Um, I distressed it a little again just curl the pages on on the side sort of uh, run through it with your pen knife just a little just to distress the edges and then you you can easily just get a vintage look right there and I've also just gone around the edges of these um, I don't know if you can tell um, oh, 
let's see if you, it will zoom in there we go um kind of so there are actually gold acrylic that i just you know went through the edges just to give it a little something extra there um that's that one in this little mini envelope and let me just set that here how cute is that? i think this is actually my favorite envelope um and then again with this set we have a i think this is called uh forgive me guys um my my brain is pretty scattered today actually um but this is a i think it's an epi, epigraph or a sort of a poem that you know um that the author lewis carroll or his real name is charles dodgson i think um yeah so this is the poem that he wrote in the beginning of the alice to the looking glass um story so i've just um used my typewriter on this vintage sort of uh again mahjong paper they call it here and then just coffee stained it here and there and then i've just put his initials there so you can journal on the back of that if you like that one goes here and then we also have this one this is also one of my favorites this one is an envelope that's actually made from the one of the envelope templates in the graphics fairy bundle i think it's called envelopes and pocket i'm not sure but check out the blog post below i'll link it and it'll tell you where what exactly the bundles that i use so i've just used that that template and then i've just used some of the images from the alice in wonderland set as well and some of her brush scripts the script ephemera bundle set and then i sort of collaged it in photoshop to create this envelope so that's one of the great things about having you know really high res images and with transparent background so you can actually use them in a lot of ways um to create basically anything and i am i don't know about you but for me it's kind of hard to find the a really good envelope template and i'm just so glad that graphics fairy has them so it's easy peasy you just cut around it and whatnot so yep and this one i just attach a little blue um ribbon here it's, as you can see there's sort of um paper stuck on the, the back um this was actually accidental but but i felt that once i used it on it sort of gives it that the ribbon looks really used so i want and that made the whole collection sort of look more authentic as in you know an old look to it and then i've just put wax seal on here and on the inside we've got some um let's see if i can pull it out inside here are am i pulling the right thing <laughs> sorry guys this is a little snug why am i not pulling it right inside here are okay so let me see why is it not coming out i think i did it oh okay there we go sorry guys all right so we've got some standard journaling cards here and this one is from the graphics fairy this is from the spring has sprung collection um one of the collage sheets so i wanted to add a bit more um color to the collection so i've added flowers because of course alice went through you know this whole garden of flowers that talks sorry i know guys i haven't read the book yet that's my mistake but i just saw the um i basically watched the cartoon when i was disney version when i was young so that's where the memory of everything came came, came from so that's one you can journal on the back of that just to add a bit of color and Hold on, let me gather them properly. So that one's there. Um, and then we also have this one. This one, um, I just add, uh, attach a bit of fabric here. So as you can probably already see, the theme is a lot of blues in here. And then I've just added um, an authentic stamp here. And then this is just an envelope. And then inside here, we have some um, journaling cards from the graphics fair as well I've left this empty so you can you know use it however you like it and I'll just tuck that in here so it's slightly the elements are slightly you know romantic with swirls and you know all that um, 
So yes, apart from the Alice in Wonderland theme, of course. And and then we have this one. And also in this collection, I've attached a few authentic e ephemera letters. This one is an actual French letter that I I have in my collection. So this one is a bit special because this one has this little bird, the, the I mean birds here. So I thought that was perfect for this theme and it's with a blue stamp, beautiful calligraphy. Inside is the authentic letter that comes with um in that belongs into this uh letter. And look, it even has the little blue birds here. So I think this was a stationary set actually. So that is pretty cool. Um, let me put that back in here. And this is also an authentic envelope. This one is German. Again, the color scheme, red and blue, predominantly blue. And then that's the back. So this one has some ephemera, printed ephemera pieces in here. We've got a few patterns here, some florals. And then we also have, of course, a picture of um, the author. And then that's his signature there. So I thought, you know, you, you got to have him in this collection, right? I mean, it's Alice in Wonderland. And then this picture of little um, Alice. And yeah, so you have that. And then we have also got some receipts. Um, that you can find on the graphics fairy as well. So I've just printed this on um, colored paper. There's some greens here, and then this is this is actually purple. So just to give more color to the papers instead of you know everything is just brown. <laughs> and here we have this one is a scan of a sort of a letter. I'm not sure if it's a letter, but um, the original one is exactly like this, so it just opens up like that. There's um, the address here, and then it actually opens up to this sort of newspaper clipping, I think, which was pretty awesome, actually. I've never seen this before, so I've just scanned it and put that in this collection. And also, this is another authentic ephemera for my collection. This one, I'm not sure what this is, but this is... Um, this is German and I got it together with the the letter this one and then but this one I decided to include this in because it has this adorable little bunny here as you can tell um, yeah so I thought that was pretty cute and it's you know on the back it has stuff on it as well so might have to put that through the um, Google Translate to see what exactly that means and Yes, so that one is the authentic ephemera sort of collection there. And also, here, moving on, we have... This is um, another envelope. This one is just embossed. I've just used some pattern paper here, blue again. Some fabric, um, this sari trim here. And then this one, um, I decided to experiment with using this sort of gold gold um, wire instead of using um, ribbon trims it I kind of like it actually so <laughs> but you just got to be careful so it's not too too pokey and then on the inside of this one is let me just put that here so this one this is from the graphics fairy as well so also just to um, cut through all the the dark you know muted tones of everything just to add more color and then this is actually I would imagine so we've come basically into the story of the sisters um, this is the this is a vintage postcard but um, the backstory is you know this is this is their house and I thought this looked super pretty right I, I don't know I think the house just looks looks welcoming I, I really like this so I decided this was in my head the perfect you know place for the sisters to have lived in and of course this one here and the reason I chose this is because um, I watched a documentary before about the author and how he actually told the story he came up with the story 
when they when he brought um the little girl on a boat ride i think don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure that's the story so i thought that was um really appropriate for the collection and then this is um the sister as well and this is a postcard of course but um the the story is there and i thought that was really really pretty and i thought the mom's dress actually looked like the one that alice was sort of wearing so that was this, this is a really pretty postcard and it has this gorgeous writing on the back um and of course the sister's name is jean so i named her jean because i found this postcard and it was the perfect one so there we go um yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with all the pictures that i found um to go with the story um hold on let me just put that back in there and then so this just basically works like um an ordinary um string i'll just put that back in there slightly tricky because the wire is really slim so what i do is i just tuck it on the back of the other strings so it doesn't sort of poke out yeah. so if you run out of ribbon but you have beading supplies that could work um all right and next one is this one um this is also using the same technique that i used for the rabbit so tear around the edges distress the edges curl the papers up a little and then you have sort of a scrapbook style there and then this one just has a little collaging at the back this is from the graphics fair as well it's one of her ephemera sets again i'll probably link it down up put it in the description down below she has quite a few so there's so many to choose from so you can just print them out on really thin paper this one is a 70 gram copy paper i know the normal copy paper is usually 80 so this is 10 grams lighter so when you cut them and then when you do a bit of collaging they don't bulk up too much so that's why i like to use that for when you use it to make it like a background so 70 grams paper for me is the way to go if i want to do sort of collaging and then on the inside of this one we have um, this one has um, basically more Alice in Wonderland, um, you know, pictures. So you have this book, book page, um, book title here, and also this one. They're just different sort of illustrations. So I mean, after all, this is a um, letter from a sister to a younger sister. So of course, you got to include a bit of you know children's illustrations in there. So I thought that was pretty awesome and it's printed on um, textured paper I don't know if you can tell so the paper is a bit textured I think this is um, it gives that sort of um, sort of like that cotton ish kind of paper and this is from the graphics fair as well this is one of her ephemera um, I ephemera pack I'm not sure which one so I've just printed this on thin paper again um, colors to just cut through um, the muted tones and that one goes in here and just tuck that here and then we have finally our last envelope this one here um, okay I'll just go through this one first so this one is just again um, a fabric sample of um, Alice in Wonderland sort of um, color scheme so she has um, I think in one of the I don't know if it was the cartoon or sorry my memory is all jogged up but I think she has a ribbon but sometimes she, I think she's wearing a blue or a black I'm not sure anyway the reason I choose this is because the background is blue and I thought the black ribbon would really pop out so you have sort of um, a fabric collection here whatnot this was also inspired by Nazi from Emily Bloom if anyone's wondering um, and finally the, the last uh, envelope I have done a bit of collaging on the side with some sari trims 
and then on the back on the back this is my favorite part of the collection this one both of these i found on the graphics fairy um premium membership site and this was basically the one that you know sparked the whole you know got the whole ball rolling for the collection so i i found this one this uh letter here it's one of the script ephemera and it just basically says to my sister I mean how perfect is that so this is a whole vintage handwritten letter and it just says to my sister and I and that was just so perfect you know um, I love it when you know everything starts you know coming together and whatnot and then on top of that I found this adorable picture it's like oh my god this is from the antique portraits uh, bundle set and this one went so well with this because as you can tell it's a family portrait with the mom and their children but there's like two little girls here that I imagined you know were the sisters in this story and she is carrying a bunny so I mean how awesome is that like oh my god I know I sound like super extra excited but I really am <laughs> and it's just perfect I mean this this basically this two right here just made the whole collection it's like it's perfect and on the inside of this one um, so these are all the um, other portraits that I got as well to go along with the the sisters theme so you've got you know pictures of these two little girls here and then this is another antique portrait and this one so I thought that was really perfect to go with this um, the whole story and yeah guys so that is my sort of Alice in Wonderland theme for this um, envelope collection I know I know it's not you know sort of um, full-on Alice in Wonderland and everything but I just thought you know the the story was there and the elements was there. I guess this is a subtle, um, you know, Alice in Wonderland interpretation of a, you know, of the theme. And yeah, and I really, really enjoyed creating this collection. I thought this was perfect. Um, I loved it. I really, really loved it. So that one just goes here. So guys, um, thank you so much for staying with me. For um, while I explain this collection, um, I think this might be my last collection of the year. I'm not sure, but I know my next collection is will already be 2019. So I'm gonna say Merry Christmas in advance, everyone, and I hope to see you in the next design team project for the Graphics Fairy, which will be on their channel in the new year. So. Merry Christmas in advance and Happy New Year guys! Have a blessed week guys! Bye!